Hi friends, Shallon Day here with Bible Journaling Ministries and today I would like to show you how to use your Tombow brush pens to create some ombre type dual tone wording for your hand lettered additions to your journaling and we will be journaling Colossians 3, 12 through 13. So if you're ready, grab your clear gesso, some kind of plastic top or, or paint palette, your Tombow markers, your Bible, and your kit, and let's get started. So let's start by looking at this beautiful three-page kit for Colossians 3, verses 12 through 13 entitled holy and beloved and the verses in the world english bible say put on therefore as god's chosen ones holy and beloved a heart of compassion kindness lowliness humility and perseverance bearing with one another and forgiving each other if any man has a complaint against any even as christ forgave you so you also do. So the first page has these beautiful vintage sewing machines, pin cushion, flowers, stacks of material, a dress form, just gorgeous. Love all of the colors. You have your verse in the center. You have your crosses and hearts, your word fetty that says, put on compassion, kindness, humility, perseverance, and forgiveness. You have your tab and four different washies here at the bottom. Now I printed mine on sticker paper and cut it out with my Silhouette Cameo. The second page has your Faith Dex cards and a sewing kit and this gorgeous uh, dress. And then you've got your flags and some more washi crosses and then this little sewing box. I printed my second page on cardstock and cut it out so that I would have my Faith Dex cards ready to go. The third page has some larger elements and your larger word fetty here. So that is the three page kit for this tutorial. I'm also going to be using four different Tombow markers. Um, these are the dual brush pen water base. And so I'm going to be using the like purple, magenta, turquoise, orange, and yellow. And we're gonna be doing some hand lettering. And I'm gonna show you how to utilize your Tombow markers. I also have this just clear plastic lid um, from something else for storage that I'm gonna be using with that. I'm going to be using the Dina Wakely clear gesso on my page only because I know that <clears throat> excuse me I can get heavy-handed when it comes to my own hand lettering and I don't want it to bleed through my Bible page so I will start out with my clear gesso and again I am using my NIV artisan collection Bible. This is my Momentum Bible for now. I only use it for Momentum kits. I do not mind covering the scripture for the simple fact that this is not my study Bible. So I'm going to go ahead and begin by putting my gesso on my page. I'm just going to use some scrap paper here to put under my page. And then just a regular paintbrush to spread my gesso. Use it out of the lid here. I'm going to put it on just Now 
You could use a, um, a card to spread your gesso if you wanted to. However is easiest for you, you make it work for you. So I don't know if you have ever used Tombow markers. I use them a lot in my, just my hand lettering. Um, I don't do a lot with um, using them like watercolor. You, you can. Um, and I took some time to practice and practice some different techniques that I learned. Um, and so I'm going to show you one that I felt like was kind of an easier one. But I love the way that it turned out. And so I may have to start using that in some of my hand lettering from here on out. And I know we have a lot of word fetty with this kit. But I'm going to choose something different from the verse to do my hand lettering with. So I'm going to grab my blow dryer and just dry my gesso. I'll speed it up so you don't have to hear that. So fairly dry. We have a few little places here. That's okay. I want to go ahead though and highlight my verse verses and I use zebra mild liner these are my go-to highlighters I love them let's see what color do I want to use use this turquoise here so 12 and 13 And if you noticed, here at the top I had a verse that was continued on from this page. And I, again, I used these Zebra Mild Liners to highlight. Um, and when I went to gesso over it, it did not smear that or pick that up at all. So, a side note. Now I am going to stay away from covering this verse and my focus verses for this page. Otherwise, I'm, I'm covering because, again, my Momentum Bible is getting quite full. And, um, and I still have my other one that if this one happens to have something on the page, I might, I pull out my other, my older Momentum Bible and, um, sometimes use that so I have options <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube um, I would encourage you that if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave me a comment if you would like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel we don't want you to miss anything be sure to click that bell for notifications I am going to start with well, I was going to start with my word fetty but I just changed my mind. So I'm going to do that last. And I'm going to start with my tab. <laughs> so I take my tab off. And again, the way that I do these, just to make sure that they're kind of even. I don't use tabs in my study Bibles. I only use my momentum tags, uh, tabs. see where the next one is. Okay. Since this Bible is just for me and my reflection and time with the Lord, I, um, I like to use my tabs to look back. And it does make it a little quicker for me when I am studying and I want to... Um, come into my Momentum Bible and just reflect a little bit. So these make it easy for me to do that quick. So before I go any further, I do want to just um, 
say a word of prayer um, before we kind of get into uh, reflecting on these verses. Lord, thank you for these reminders in your love letter of how we should live as your children. Father, I just lift up the ones who are watching this video. Lord, I pray that we would always remember that we are your chosen ones, that we are holy and beloved, and the way that our hearts should be full and how we should forgive others. Jesus, thank you so much for shedding your blood on the cross as payment of our sin. Lord, you are such a good, good father, and we love you so much. Thank you for this time. In Jesus' name, amen. These are a couple of my very favorite, favorite verses. Um, they're such a good reminder of how we should live and love one another. And when I was creating this kit, um, my inspiration was put on, therefore. And so I, I thought about my... My grandmother and how she used to sew and sewed all kinds of things for me as a little girl. And I was inspired. <laughs> I was inspired for this kit. And I just thought this dress was beautiful. All of the colors and I don't know if it would be a skirt or if it would be like a sleeveless. Let's do it as a skirt if I can. I may not be able to. I may have to use the smaller one. And the smaller one is cut out of cardstock, which is no problem. Because I can just take my glue stick let's see oh. I don't know what do you all think should it just be like this maybe I should have used the smaller dress form oh that worked a little better huh okay well let's see if we can take this off if we can't I'll use the larger one let's see oh, yay oh perfect perfect okay You know, we <clears throat> talks about things that we should wear as God's children. Um, you know, I know that, that my family, we talk a lot about the armor of God. Um, but we tend to not remember so much of these com a heart of compassion and kindness and lowliness and humility. That's a big one. Um, perseverance you know that endurance to run the good to run the good race that we're all just trying to get through i need to pull that up a little look at me thank goodness my sticker paper is not too too sticky anyway let's see where i could put this so i want it okay it's kind of like paint playing paper dolls did you play with paper dolls when you were little I can remember those little kits, and I loved those little kits. My grandmother would get those for me. And, and then it moved on to um, the little tracing things that you could trace the girl. You know, it had the thing that you put up underneath the paper, and you colored it with a pencil. And then you could come back with crayons or markers and design your outfit. I forget what those were called. You 
could use double-sided tape if you're using just regular paper or um, cardstock. I may have to come back with some double-sided tape because it may not stick over that gesso, but we're going to leave it there for now. <laughs> and I'm probably not going to do too much yet because I don't want to cover up where I'm going to be doing my my hand lettering and I believe what I'm going to do is do my hand lettering um, I think I'm going to come along this way instead of going side to side the way that it is I think I'm going to come along go sideways with it instead so I do want to put something under here and I think that is going to be too big so let's use this one I'm going to take my little embroidery scissors and I should have traced the inside of this so that it would cut it out but I wasn't thinking about that when I cut this out so I'm going to use a little embroidery scissors just to cut this white space out Sometimes when I do my momentum devotions, um, I'm able to pull back and print again. And sometimes I have lots of these same bonus kits and momentum devotion kits just lying around my desk area because I changed my mind on what I want to print them on and I don't want to waste them. So <laughs> I have folders full of devotions, uh, kits, element kits, and uh, bonus kits that are on dip, printed on different mediums, so I have an option to use them later. So I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna leave this top part the white space only because it has the the thread up there, and I don't want to mess that up. If that would be too big, I guess I could put it here, but I don't really want to do that. This one's smaller. interesting so I must have cut <laughs> I did cut out this white space with my silhouette on this particular image that's so interesting a happy accident I guess so I just take my element and rub it across my glue stick to to keep my fingers a little cleaner but also to cover the entire portion of my image on the back my element I'm just layering some of my things here. It's not 
going down all the way, but that's okay. I can fix that. So I want to, to stop with my kit for just a minute um, because I want to do my hand lettering first and then I can come back and finish with my kit. But I want to highlight the words in the verse that say, um, the, the very first part of verse 12, it says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, I want to write chosen, holy, and beloved. And I want to do kind of a mixed <clears throat> color with my Tombow markers and again I learned this um, from doing my own research and playing around with my Tombow markers which I had not done in the past so I paired I'm, I'm going to pair my markers together I'm going to do the orange and the yellow and then the turquoise and this like purple plummy color and I'm going to do some hand lettering across this way um, so I'm going to start with the turquoise and the purple. So the purple is a little darker than the turquoise. So I'm going to take my Tombow marker and on my plastic lid here, I'm just going to add ink. I'm just going to do this right here. Almost like you would put down watercolor on a palette. I'm going to turn my page so that it's easier for me to work with. Then I'm going to take my turquoise and I'm just going to pick up some of that purple ink onto my turquoise pen. Okay. So I picked it up and now I'm just going to hand letter and do faux calligraphy and I'm going to write chosen. Now, it's very faint that you can see the turquoise on here. But now I'm going to move on and do a comma and write holy. And with holy, I'm able to see that turquoise a little better. as I am, let me pick this up so you can see too. <clears throat> so the, the chosen has more of the purple and then the holy has just a hint of turquoise on it. So if you did not know that you could pick up ink, other inks with your Tombow markers, you can, <laughs> you definitely can. So here's what it looks like on the paper. You've got a difference. You've got that purple and that turquoise. So if I were to do this on my paper, let's write holy. And then that purple has actually disappeared by the time that I got to my Y here. So just thought this was a neat way to use hand lettering and your Tombow markers. Now if I wanted to come back and kind of add on this side, this turquoise, I could lightly add that where I already see it. It's having a hard time focusing, I guess. Um, so now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get that off of there, that purple off. And I'm going to do the same thing with Beloved. But I'm going to use the orange and the yellow. So I'm going to put down the, 
the orange as my darker color. Just a little bit. And then I'm just going to take my yellow and run it through there and pick some of that orange up. And make my Use the okay, so now I'm going to write beloved underneath and just kind of offset it a little bit from my. So I'll give you a, a a bigger one because I know that one's hard to see. So there it is, larger. And you can see how it started out with the, the orange and then you can start to see both colors and then just the yellow on the D. So just a fun way to utilize your, your Tombow markers a little differently than what you might be used to. This was a different for me, and again, this is a learning experience for me as well. And you may be saying, Shallon, why did you put that on the side? Well, I'm gonna use my word Fetty on the side also. So I just have a little water spray bottle, and then just spray that and clean off my little lid. out of my way and now I can come back and use my word Fetty sometimes I like to change it up a little bit and do something that's a little different with my words and just to I think it just adds some interest, and I like that. I didn't really like that yellow underlined um, on Beloved, so that's why I covered it up. And again, my word Freddy, not straight. I don't mind. <laughs> I do not mind. But I wanted to show you how you could use your markers in a different way to kind of give yourself an ombre effect. You could even do block lettering, add some different colors of your Tombow, and then take a water brush pen like this and blend those colors if you have a big enough space to be able to do that. Um, that was a really neat technique that I that I came across. Take this washi here. And 
let's see. Turn this back around a little bit. And then I'm just going to take these hearts and crosses Oh, I like that better. <laughs> And just add these to my page. Very simple. But I, like I said, I just wanted to show you how to use your tumble markers. It does take practice. I'm not going to lie. Um, if you saw the two pages that I have filled up trying to um, learn different ways of utilizing the Tombow markers, um, you would, you would laugh, you would laugh, um, because they are, I'll show them to you. And I always like to, when I bring you a technique, I always like to try it out first, obviously, um, because I don't want to, <laughs> let me show you my practice pages, okay? So these are all of my practice pages that I used <laughs> learning how to do this. And I really did, I really loved the yellow and the green together, um, but it didn't really match the kit, so I couldn't do that. But like this right here, I did some faux, um, faux calligraphy more so kind of like bubble letters and then that's when I added the different um, colors and took my water brush pen and blended them together and it it really did come through on the other side so I was almost afraid to do that with this um, and then this is just me playing again with some of this stuff I did that same this technique here with some other colors and I used the Foodnesco black for just writing it out and then adding my on my downstrokes adding a, a thicker line and then I just took my Tombow markers and colored in and then took my watercolor brush and painted it uh, going from the same direction all the time because I didn't want to um, you know kind of contaminate and then I tried my hand at using it as like a watercolor, um, which you can do as well. So anyway, just some, some different ways for you. Be sure to practice it if you don't, you know, if you're afraid of messing up in your Bible. Grab you some scrap paper. Um, and just have fun with it. It's okay. You can certainly... And sometimes when you practice it and you think, oh, yeah, I've really got this down. Um, then you go to put it on your page like me and it didn't quite work out. <laughs> that is okay. I, I am just trying to find my black Posca pen. And actually, I don't think I'm going to use my black Posca pen. I think I'm just going to use my, again, Tombow Food Nesco. And I'm just going to... Come around my crosses with a thin black outline. The crosses and the hearts. You can go ahead and outline your words again if you wanted to make them bolder. 
and to stand out that would be okay too your page your time with the Lord I think I'm gonna have to write this on a um, like an index card or a post-it note and hang it in my bathroom on my mirror these verses maybe I will do the faith decks card and just tag one of those stick one of those on my on my mirror in my bathroom I don't want to do too much more because I do like this page the way that it sits I'm almost tempted though to use this polka dotted washi nope I'm not. Shall and you have to stop. Okay. <laughs> that is how you can use markers to hand letter and kind of get an almost ombre effect with your hand lettering. Don't be afraid to play with what you have on hand and learn new ways to utilize it in your journaling. I kind of thought this dress form needed just a little bit to kind of set it off. I'm not going to go all the way around the dress because it has all of those beautiful details. But just I like that. All right, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that this was inspiring so that you will be a little brave to play with your Tombow dual brush pens and learn some new techniques and learn how to utilize them in more creative ways. I enjoyed being with you and until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and I will see you again soon. Thanks for joining me.